Welcome to our breakfast club call. Today is Thursday, August the 10th, 2023. Welcome ATL. Welcome Tampa. Welcome New York City. Welcome Philly. Welcome Jamaica, Trinidad. Welcome Washington State. Welcome Tennessee. Welcome all you beautiful people. Greatly appreciate you guys on here with us today. We're going to give you guys like one more minute. I know some people said that they were having some technical difficulties getting on the chat, which I'm not sure why, but uh, feel free to send out those last minute messages, but we're going to get started. I, I put the link already to that motivational audio so that you guys could have it on there uh, for you. So uh, last week we spoke about uh, starting your morning, winning your morning, winning your day. And we kind of broke down the formula, the 2020 formula that Robin Sharma uh, goes over in his book, The 5 a.m. Club. And we spoke about how that can be applied in not only to winning in business, right, especially your secret business, but also winning in life. And today, what I wanted to talk to you guys about um, is more than anything, not only something that, um, you know, to help you in building this business, but more so, this is something that these are tools that you can apply to every area of life. If you're just joining, welcome. welcome, welcome. I remember when I first started entrepreneurship, I was looking forward to these type of calls. Not only was I looking forward to these type of calls for the inspiration that I was going to receive, but I was looking forward to the information and the inspiration combined that I was going to receive because I understand garbage in is garbage out and greatness in is greatness out. So kudos to each and every single one of you guys that, that decided to start your morning off in a very significant way with some motivation, inspiration, right? Knowledge. And here's the reality, guys, right? I was just having this conversation. Uh, we could put people in this business all day long, but if we're not building people up, see, people do not build this business we build people up sorry about the technical difficulties guys so uh, you build you build this business by building people up right because it is absolutely imperative that people are not only getting the skill sets but that people develop the mindset to make sure that they're winning in this industry that they're winning in life because the reality is if you were at our last training event Right, when Zafir said it from stage, if you do not get people trained, they quit. Right. So we can put people in the system all day long. And let's be real with this $200, $150 promotion that we got on. This is an absolute no brainer. So we are going to experience, continue to experience massive momentum, but it is absolutely imperative that we're getting people registered. So not only getting trained on our team synergy calls on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m., Right, but making sure that we're getting people registered for the training event. And the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. So if you are wondering, like, man, I don't have a lot. My team is not registered for training. Are you registered for training? How are, are you having these conversations every single day that people that you need to get your people to training, that they have to come to training? Because it's not so much just telling people, hey, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go, but explaining to them, hey, what is it that you want? Having those conversations. Um, and it is secretdirectevents.com uh, for those that are asking what it is. I just put it in the link, but um, it, it definitely has to do with the heartbeat of this company because our training systems are designed to be the glue are designed to be that bigger picture so as we get into today's topic of the mark of a significant leader a few weeks ago we spoke about the mature leader right and what exactly does that look like and we went over the different leadership types but when we talk about leadership and when we talk about building this business see a lot of people think well i have to be a i have to be a 50 50 or 100 100 or i have to be a blue diamond or i have to be at a higher level rank um before i am a leader no and leader is not based on position but leader is based on your initiative leader is based on your passion leader is not dictated because of a rank before you even get to the rank you are already who you are until you prove otherwise so when we think of you know the mark of a significant leader 
number one, if you're taking notes, because note takers are history makers and what you write in ink sinks. Number one is patience. See, the question isn't will I wait, it's how I wait. And what I mean by that? So we talk about building this business. It's a very simple system, right? It's I see, it's inviting people to see the information. It's sharing the information. It's enrolling people. It's educating people. So the reality is why these calls are so significant in building your leadership and building your business is because this is what allows you to be impatient with your activity, right? And patient with your results. Um, and I feel that it was like, I think it was Jesse or uh, one of our leaders that said this at Trainers Academy, that is like, you want to be married to the process, but divorced from the results. Married to the process, but divorced from the results. Because it is more so than what you're doing or who more than what you're doing in the process it's more so who you're becoming while you're waiting how will you wait it's not will you it's how will you wait will you wait with an attitude of gratitude will you wait with an attitude of expectancy with you will you wait with an attitude of perseverance will you wait with an attitude of hope Will you wait with an attitude of knowing, hey, if I have to do 10 more today, awesome. Well, see, here's the here's what happens. You start building this business, right? You get some traction, you put some people in, and then you're like, my people aren't doing anything. My people, my people are, they're not where we we did a fast start, we showed them how to invite, but you know, this person is doing this, but this, you know why? Because you're not getting them trained. You know why? Because we're not having those conversations that are necessary because it's beyond it's beyond business. But we have to develop a bond that is beyond bank with people. And the way that you do that is building those relationships, but more than anything, building people up and these calls, whether it's our Wow Wednesday calls with Jared or it is our team synergy calls or our breakfast club calls with Josh at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. We have calls every single day that are there to help you grow because it's not so far, so much of, can you put people in? Of course. But the question isn't, will I wait? It's how will you wait? Are you going to be focused on those activities that you want to expand? Like right now, Everybody should be focused on getting people to the next SRT, to the next regional training event taking place in a city near you September 16th, especially if you were at Freedom Academy and you're like, man, I wish I would have got that drone, man, I was on stage and I want that feeling. Or maybe you weren't on stage and you're like, you know what? I deserve that feeling. It's time for me to get that feeling. So how will you wait? Are you going to wait working? Are you going to know that success is a contact sport and right is due every single day? How is it that you're going to wait in the season that you're working? Because patience is a virtue. However, it's being in, in that season that you're patient. How are you going to be working on your daily activities that are going to better not only your business, but better every aspect of your life, your faith, your family, your fitness, your fortune, your fun, because all of those things matter. However, what you focus on the longest always becomes the strongest. So if you're patient, right, if you're saying, hey, you know what, I'm married to the results, I'm married, I'm married to the process, but I'm divorced from the results. It's having that level of expectancy that says, hey, I'm going to master the mundane. I know inviting sometimes maybe uh, the, the phone may weigh like a thousand pounds, but I understand that the only way through is through. I understand that the vision is bigger. I understand that freedom isn't free. I understand that if I want something bad enough, I'm going to work at it day in and day out, right? Be coachable and teachable. You'll be unstoppable. Here's what happens a lot of times. You start mastering the mundane and you're inviting and you're sharing and you're enrolling and you're educating, right? And then 
you show up to your appointment and that person doesn't show up, your prospect doesn't show up. And in that moment, because we've all had this, it's like, well, you have an expectancy that says, hey, you know what? I made a decision to be here. There's so many times that I have a prospect meeting that is supposed to happen and that person doesn't show up. Like type of one one in the chat if that's ever happened to you you have a meeting and that person didn't show up yes yes absolutely making the process fun keep pushing of course but here's what i know plans change decisions don't you know how many times that's happened to me because you can never ever ever compare high high tech with high touch right but i also know that it's a transfer of energy this is just all a transfer of energy. So if I'm sitting down with somebody, it's different. But why I love in person so much is because I made a decision. Plans change, decisions don't. So the plan may have changed with the prospect, but guess what? I'm going to still get, I'm going to still be in line. And hi, I've met somebody at a coffee shop, just meeting them in line, or I'm sitting down doing work at the coffee shop that I said I was going to be at. doesn't matter if the prospect didn't show up. Okay. And I start a conversation with the person sitting next to me or because I am patient, right? And I am married to my process and I am divorced from results. I'm on the phone and I'm saying, who can I call? Who can I call? Who can help? Who can get on the phone really quick or get on Zoom so that I can make the most of this, of this time? Because the truth of the matter is that your mindset is where your mind sits. And a lot of times what causes us to be, causes us not to be patient is not getting the result that we want. And it's not necessarily only not getting the result in our business, right? It's not, it's not getting that, that result in the, in the moment. How will you, how will you persevere? How will you pivot in, in that specific moment that your prospect didn't show up, that the conversation didn't go as planned, that the demo wasn't at plan, that the spa party you had inviting for, you had 15 people confirmed and three people showed up. How will you wait in that season? It will determine what it is that you will accomplish because it's never a question of will you, it's how you go about it. It's the mindset moving forward. How, how, how does that look like for you? So number two, service. So when we think of significant leadership, when we think of significant leadership that is impacting people's lives, that is serving, it's don't make service an event, make it your identity. So I know you're like, well, what does that mean? Do I have to go be in our secret service team? Is that is that what you're saying? I, I need to make that part of my identity. No, I'm not saying that. However, if you would like to, that is a beautiful way to serve in our community via our secret service agents. Absolutely love them. They are the heartbeat of they are the heartbeat of our company, right? They they make such a world of difference. But what I mean more so by that than anything is, how are you helping your team? How are you helping your team grow? See, whether you just got in yesterday or you got in a month ago or you got in a year ago, when we talk about not making service an event, but making it your identity, do you have that willingness to serve? Because if you are too big to serve, then you are too small to lead. Why is that? Because it's about the collective. It's about serving the greater good. It's about us empowering and encouraging each other. But hey, if you know somebody puts in the team chat, hey, I need a 3PV. And if you don't know what that is, that is a third party validation, right? Or a three-way call or a testimony. In 15 minutes, I'm showing a video. Are you free? Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to be free every single time, but if the need does arise, are you able to serve? If the call is taking place, are you the leader that is waiting for the leader to post or promote the calls? No, be the person that takes initiative. The Tuesday night calls are every night, Tuesday night at 9 p.m. The Breakfast Club call with Josh Valentin is every Tuesday morning, 7 a.m., like clockwork. Our Breakfast Club call on Thursdays at 8 a.m. 
every Thursday. So are you the person that's making it an event or is making it your identity? Because the speed of the team is the speed of the leader. So people will never, especially brand new people getting started, they're not going to do as you say. It's just like kids. They're going to do as you do. So when we talk about making service, it's having a bigger mindset. It's saying, hey, cool, we did, we did your we did your Zoom launch. Well, we did your fast start because the system inviting, sharing, and rolling and educating, which means we invited somebody to see the presentation. We shared the information, whether you shared with the push play, whether it was a webinar, whether it was a demonstration of products, whether it was you having a conversation, however the case may be. Now, we enrolled you means we put you in the system, right? Put them in the system and we're educating you. So we got you, which means we got you registered for the next training event, right? Which means it's not you saying, hey, I'm going to register. It's you walking that person through, through it. It's you saying, hey, when can we carve out 10 to 15 minutes for your fast start? When can we carve out 10 to 15 minutes so that you can meet the rest of our leadership, right? Because here's the reality. If it's about connecting everybody to the team, but it's also showing people who they have access to, what they have access to in this community. Because if people think that all they have access to is you and the person that showed them the information, they're losing <laughs> because this community is way bigger. And this is why it's so important that you're making these connections and you're making, and you're building these relationships and you're continuously building people up because People always want to see the bigger picture. And this is why our events are so powerful. The events is what has allowed me to build relationships. Somebody asked me the other day, like, how did you get Jeff Bolt on a three-way call? Well, I've known Jeff for about 10 years, but also I met him at a training event, right? And when leaders start seeing you and you start building relationships, it's like a lot of people go up to these leaders and, and try to start a conversation and start building a relationship. But you know what? who the leaders pay attention to? The people that are making things happen, the people that say, hey, I'm going to do something and actually get it done. The people that tell them, hey, I'm going to get to this next square bonus and you're going to see me on stage at least five times at this next event. I promise you, because every I'm going to be on that leaderboard. The people that say that they're going to do something and actually go through and execute that, do it. See, here's what I do know. Leaders do not miss training events. Leaders do not miss training events. If training is a negotiable for you, if training is an option for you, freedom is not a must. Now, it's different. If you have a family emergency or you have a significant milestone in your family and this is something that you just can't miss, like, I get it. But if you are making that a pattern of missing training, how are you being of service to your people? Because again, People don't build this business. You build people up and then they build this business. And the training is so important. And when we're talking about making, not making service an event, making it your identity, it is knowing that you're leading people in the right direction because it's beyond leading people in the system, leading them to a fast start, leading them to invite, leading them to get in the system, leading them to a trip is how are you going to help people get free? How are you going to help them get free? It's by growing this because success is, is a game of inches. It's what's going on in between ear to ear, right? What's going on up here. And then the disconnect from your heart to your mind, because whatever the mind can believe and conceive, it will achieve. But how are you making service your identity each and every single day when it comes to this business? Are you say, are you being person that's like, hey, I'm going to make sure that I'm leading. I'm going to make sure I'm not only getting people started, I'm getting them to training. I'm being a helpful hand. Hey, we did your Zoom. We did your Zoom launch. Let's go ahead and do your in-person launch because high tech does not compare to high touch. There is a 99% closing ratio, 99% closing ratio when people are in front of you. Like I, 99% closing ratio when people are in front of you versus when they are online. Why? Because sales is a transfer of energy and people will tell you all day long, like, oh, this is not sales. Let me tell you something. 
I ain't selling nobody on a $200 trip. I ain't selling, I ain't selling nobody on world-class skincare. I'm not selling nobody on world-class nutrition. I'm not selling anybody on the ultimate lifestyle club. But guess what I'm selling them on? On me? Because here's the three things that people ask themselves when they see the information. Can I do this? Is this real? Will you help me? So you're, you're selling people on your energy. You're selling people on your belief. You're selling people on your vision. So when you're talking about making service an identity, are you casting the bigger vision? Are you painting a picture that people can see that this is beyond travel, that this is beyond business, that it's beyond nutrition, it's beyond skincare, right? This is building a community of health and wealth, but this also is allowing you ownership. You know what? how amazing it is to say as platinum and above, we own a percentage of a personal development training company because we do. We own the good life training system, Delicia. Like, come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Vicky says, yeah, nothing compares to in person. Vicky and I were building in New York and I'm just like, Vicky, put them in front of me and nobody's going to say no. Right. And nobody said no. Not everybody got in the system right away. Right. But we got we got somebody in the system. One for three. Right. But the per people are like, yeah, I'm coming. I got it. But it's people want to meet people like COVID had everybody inside and everybody's now outside. And people guess what they're lacking? Connection. They're lacking community. They're lacking certainty. They're, they're lacking that encouragement, that love from thy neighbor, and there's no better place to get it. There's no better place to get it than our community. Yes, the community is absolutely, um, it, it, nothing compares to it. So when you're, when you're thinking of, man, how can I make this my identity? Are you the person that is not only putting people in the system, is getting people to training, is getting people on the calls, is helping people grow. I'm going to tell you right now, the inner circle, the inner circle, if you are not registered for the inner circle, you're playing yourself, you're not paying yourself. Eric Grzbowski did a phenomenal job on Tuesday. We posted the, the replay of that call. I'm going to tell you, before I ever met Jeff Ball in person, I knew him from my car. Before I ever met Eric Grzbowski in person, I knew him from my car. Before I ever met Matt Morris, believe it or not, I didn't even know that I was on Matt Morris's team. And I've been on Matt Morris's team for the last 10 years, okay? I didn't even know that. But I kept listening to this closing audio and I kept listening to burn the bridge. And I'm telling it's crazy because, see, we hear oftentimes that nine to five pays the bills, but five to nine builds your dreams. Like nine to five pays, makes a living, but five to nine builds your legacy because it's what you do after work right? It's what you're doing when nobody's watching. It's what you're doing when you're tired. It's what you're doing when you, when you think you don't got enough gas in the tank to keep going. And those audios, and I used to be at work from 7 a.m. to sometimes 7 p.m. And I'm not just at one location. When I was working as a commercial banker, I was covering the entire region from the Florida Keys all the way up to Port St. Lucie. And if you don't know what that is, but just know, go look it up on the map, okay, in South Florida. It is a very, very vast territory. And I used to have to be driving all of the time from client to client, from client to client, from branch to branch, building these book of businesses because I was in the commercial business development space. Now, let me tell you, when I was done, do you think after I've been driving for hours and talking all day. You really think I wanted to go talk to anybody when I got off of work? Like, let me see it in the chat. Who, which one of y'all think I wanted to go talk to somebody when I got off? Exactly. 
No, <laughs> nobody. Exactly. I'll make sure you're sending your, your panelists to uh, your comments to everyone, not just panelists. But yes, of course. <laughs> Delisa says, I think you did in my heart. Girl, listen, let me tell you what, what made my heart. It was me understanding is like, me hearing Jim Rohn over and over again, right? The birds are going to get him. I was like, I ain't going to be one of the birds, right? I'm not going to be some of the ones that the birds get that gives up on their dreams. But you know why I was, I was so fired up to work on my dreams? Because all I was hearing was get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. And all I'm thinking about was get paid, get paid, get paid. I was waiting for the flip. See, eventually it flips. You, you, you work. Eventually it flips. You work, 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 work. But then you get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. Eventually it flips. But here's what happens. People don't stick around for the flip. Ooh, that's that hurt. That's that hurt, right? We have seen, we've seen this meme circulating for years that it's uh it's showing you the person with the axe that's like in the mine that's it's mining and they give up when they're like less than a feet from gold and that's what happens in this business when you're not working on yourself when you're not thinking of the collective when you're not working on strengthening your mindset when you're not working on strengthening those skill sets because guess what you're not going to be motivated every day but when you make building this business, when you make service your identity, when you make helping people a part of you, it's a part of your lifestyle. So you no longer have to be disciplined. You don't you don't longer have to be in the mood to go do a presentation or do a demo or pick up the phone because it's service is not an event. It's part of your identity as a leader. You have a bigger picture. You know, you're not going to stop until everybody is free. See, a lot of people ask me, Pam, you know, why, why are you, this is you, you make money. You've been on TV. You make money during a coach. You're this, you're that, but I'm a community builder. And I love building community, but you can't build community without currency. And for currency, you need an opportunity. And this is an opportunity that we can position everybody to even the playing field. It can be integrated into anybody's lifestyle, into anybody's business. But are you making it just an event or are you making a part of your identity? Because a significant leader understands that the bigger picture, we're until all of us are free, none of us are free. And that's why it's beyond just one of us. It's about all of us, right? If you guys are getting value uh, from this, please type it in the chat. I know like I am going and going and going. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I read each and every single one of your comments. Awesome. So moving right along. Number three, resilience. Ooh, that's a good one. Resilience resilience and we have had calls after calls that talk about the definition of resilience right and the resilience is the capacity to withstand or recover quickly the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties how tough are you the ability of something to spring back into shape right how resilient are you? And when we talk about building this business, when we talk about leadership, when we talk about freedom, when we talk about legacy, when we talk about generational wealth, it's saying, I'm never down. I'm either up or I'm getting back up. But I'm never down. I'm either up or I'm getting back up. And it's knowing that the only way through is through. See, I don't know what that number is for you every single day. I don't know what it looks like for you. What is your freedom number? I encourage each and every single person to know what your freedom number is. What your freedom number is. Just like I start my morning with my meditation, my prayer, my affirmations, my fitness. I also start my morning with visualization. 
I also remind myself of what that number is for me, of what that number is for the people on our team. What does that look like for you? Because I'm not going to sit here and tell you that life doesn't happen, that we don't all go through frustration, that we don't all go through the no-shows. We don't all go through the people that said, oh my goodness, I'm going to kill it. I just spent my last to go to training. And then after training, they're ghosts. They've not shown one person. Ooh. But it's resilience. It's knowing I'm never down. I'm either up or I'm getting back up. It's knowing that I got to keep going. It's knowing that, hey, if I want them to look what success looks like, if I want them to see, if I want them to see what speed looks like, I'm going to go fast. I don't go fast so that I don't, I don't build as aggressive as I build so that people can be like, oh, look at me, look at you. No, it's so people see, hey, if you ever want to go beast mode, this is what it looks like. If you ever want to build this business in a fast way, this is what that looks like. If you ever want to really have success in this business, this is what that looks like. But it's not to say that I still don't go through the no-shows. It's not to say that I still don't go through the people that say, hey, I'm going to get started on Friday. And that Friday is never-ary. Some of y'all will get that on the way out. <laughs> it's never-ary, right? But it's also understanding that the bigger vision is bigger. It's also understanding that as a significant leader, I'm patient, right? Service is my identity. And this is a part of me. But also understanding that I know it's going to happen. It's not a question of if, it's just a matter of when. But it's also knowing that we have to live a life of generosity so that others can live a life of opportunity. Are you generous with your time? Are you generous with your gifts? Are you generous with your talents? Are you generous with your knowledge? Are you generous with your energy? Are you gen generous with your enthusiasm? Are you generous with your vision? Are you sharing that vision? Is that vision big enough? See, people on my team could say one thing. They'd be like, man, she is annoying because she wants us to be successful so bad. She's always texting us, hey, let's get on a call. Hey, well, I am obsessed with helping people be better. I know. I know. It's not, it's not always going to come out pretty. But once you know me, you know. You know. You just know, I am obsessed with making you better. I'm obsessed with helping you grow. I'm obsessed with helping you be successful. I'm obsessed with you getting freedom. So am I always going to say what you want to hear? No, no. But if freedom, if freedom is what you want, I'm going to help you. I'm going to make sure you get it. If you're telling me that you want to grow, I'm going to make sure you do. But it's the reality because I understood that I needed people to stretch me. I understood that I needed people to just be like, hey, you're doing great. You're doing good, but good is the enemy of great. Or you're doing great, but the next level is amazing. You're, you, you have great potential, but potential is a fancy word for you ain't do nothing yet. So it's living a life of generosity so that others can live a life of opportunity. Because when we think about this opportunity, it has to be seized within the lifetime of the opportunity. See, one of the things, uh, and it's interesting, I was on a podcast last week uh, with one of my childhood friends, Ola. He's actually on the call right now. And it's interesting because we were talking about, and somebody asked me on there, well, how does it compare to, to uh, this club? And how does it compare to that club? And I really just wanted to say, you can't compete where you don't compare. But I said, you know what? The community is like no other. It's ownership. See, there is nothing in this world right now that you can say, oh, I'm going to join and every year I'm going to pay $100 and I'm going to get a complimentary an anniversary trip or a vacation. Nothing in this world. There's nothing, there's no other opportunity in this world that say, hey, I'm going to give you access to this family that is not only going to help you build your secret business, but as you build your secret business, 
they're going to give you ownership in a personal development training. They're also going to give you ownership in investments that we're building, like a wellness resort and spa that we're building in Arizona, like an oceanfront resort in Puerto Plata that sits on 200 mile beachfront. Listen, like what type of opportunity do you know that is giving people access to this next level ownership and community building? Because if a business, all it does is make money, that's a cheap business. If all a business does is make money, it's a cheap business, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Because you, you got to think of a bigger picture. You think, you think I'm working this hard just, just for this generation? No. No, absolutely not. But I understand that it's me living a life of generosity so that others can live a life of opportunity. How are you seizing this opportunity within the life of the opportunity? Because significance is greater than success. See, and as we wrap up this call, I want you to reflect on some of these things going as we finish off this week. Are you complaining or are you preparing in this season? Because oftentimes we can lose sight of the why on the journey of the what. It's happened to me before too. You lose sight of the why on the journey of the what. Because more than, more than the significance, more than the, the accolades, more than the stage recognition, positive growth or any type of external milestones. We're called to lead from a place of significance. We're called to lead from a place of love. We're called to lead from a place of vision. We're called to lead from a place of service because without service, there is no significance. But when your purpose becomes about serving others, you don't waste time with your position. Your titles will come and they will go, but your mission, it always remains the same. Love people, build vision, leave an imprint, leave an impact. Breakfast has been served. It is always a pleasure, honor, and privilege to serve you. Thank you guys so much for getting on today. We'll make sure that the recording is on our Chosen Global YouTube page. Thank you guys so much for getting on. Blessings on blessings to each and every single one of you. As always, hope you guys got tons of value. I read everything in the comments.